everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 44, and this is war number two. And we're going up against an alliance called Hell's Bells 2. All right, let me see. So they have banned Silk, Spider-Man 2099, and Hulk. I believe all of them are... They benefit from the uh, attacker tactic. So that bodes ill, especially if they have a lot of defenders um, that are benefiting from the global. But we'll see. Um, and we've got the global and the ban immune. All right, let's uh, take a look. See what they have planned for us. Okay, so this first one is going to be gallon food. This one, on the other hand, calls for maybe an attacker that benefits from the attacker tactic. And they banned the ones that I would have brought in. However, they did not ban all of them. So I may bring in titania for that uh anyone that doesn't uh that's like buff immune also works so uh titania could definitely work um i also have uh kate bishop that i just recently took to rank three um i don't know if i want to try her out right now though but we'll see um what do we got here? Okay, so both of them have armor ups. And I learned the hard way that Ant-Man on this node, not fun. So we definitely need a bleed immune for that one. Terax could do it. However, Terax is not the best. This is where their defense placement just kind of thwarts me a little bit because I ranked Terax up because he could take both of these nodes. He's bleed and shock immune. But these particular defenders, he can beat them. But I don't know if he's the best person for them. Uh, Claire, on the other hand, does very well. And let me see. And for this one, I may just bring in Hulkling. I think Hulkling um, is probably the better one. So Gallon, Claire, and Hulkling are what we're looking at. But let's see because we have a... Um, we can choose any of these, which is interesting. Um, there is Man-Thing, however, um, Hulk, who I used last time, is banned. Oh, boy. We will see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I may not be able to take one of them. I don't know. Fortunately, the way they have laid it out now, it's not up to just the left side to do these. Um, we have three, six. So everybody has access to these guys. So if I'm not able to do that, let me see, three, six, nine. Um, hmm. And we do have backup as well. I will have to think about it. I do want to take one of them. Um, the way that it's laid out, it's designed to, to be spread out for all of us. That's kind of how why they did it that way. So you don't have one person just kind of clearing all of this stuff, you know. Um. And see, 
they really, 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 I don't know. Titanium might be able to take one of these. I do not like anything with root on it. I'll tell you that right now. Um, but Titania could do that fight. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking here. I'm not familiar with, with some of these here, but, um, let's see. Yeah, um, I think... Power. Yeah, Titania might be able to do this fight as well. So that Mysterio fight could be Titania. Um, so yeah, so um, Gallon. Although, you know, let me think. I'll, I'll have to think about this because if I'm bringing Gallon in for just that one fight there, uh, I could probably do this fight with someone else who could also do another fight. Um, for example, Hulkling. I think Hulkling can do this fight um, because Hulkling is... Let's see. Yeah, Hulkling is immune to the power burn. And because he can't be power burned, he won't take any damage. So Hulkling could do this fight. Um, Claire can do that fight. Hulkling can do that fight. And then if I bring Titania. Let's see. Hulkling, Claire, and Titania. Yeah. So, yeah, that looks like it'll be a better play. Hulkling, Claire, and Titania. Titania for this uh, Sorcerer Supreme. Um, Hulkling for this infamous Iron Man. Claire for this. But then I'll be using Claire for just that fight, but that's okay. And Hulkling for this one. And then I would have Claire and Titania for any one of these fights. And I think Titania for that Mysterio and Titania for perhaps uh, this fight here against uh, Ebony Maw. Um, that could be a pain with the bubble shield, though. Ooh. Um, as well as uh, dealing with his special, too. So maybe this Mysterio, I don't know. And then, let's see. Claire would not be good for... Yeah, I'm looking here. It would have to be Titania for any of those. Uh, do not want to go up against Void. <laughs> um, and Havoc really needs... Oh, yes, ha Hazard Shift. Ugh. Hazard shift, incinerate, poison. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes if I take any of them. We do have one person that can take one of them at need. So I can either go in with Titania and fight um, this Ebony Maw. We've got... Um, Baron Zemo here, and possibly Hulkling could do this fight. 
So I'm thinking I have option two options. So we'll see. Anyway, let's get on with the fighting. Okay, Corvus has come back to war along with Thickums, Titania, and Hercules. Strong team. You're probably going to start seeing Hercules a lot more often if they don't ban him. I'm taking him out of AQ duty, and I have an ascended five-star Hercules that has taken his place in Alliance Quest. So, Hercules, I think I have, like, maybe... I'm going to use him for, like, one fight, all right? You can see I'm, I'm buffing up here, but the star is really... Corvus. Now, if you missed my rank up of Corvus, sorry, spoiler, uh, but that is why I ranked Corvus up because he is good for a lot of these nodes that I'm doing. Now, for those of you who have been following me for a while, you remember when I used Corvus every war. All right. So you can see here automatically I put an armor break on him. First thing, but I'm a little rusty. This is the first time I have used Corvus in a while. I haven't been using him in AQ, Alliance War, nothing. Okay, so you can see here, look at that. I got all smacked up and just beat up. I was like, oh my goodness. Don't tell me I'm gonna die first fight again with Corvus. But no, we ain't had to worry about that. All right. So you can see here, Corvus is just tearing him up. Look at this. We don't care. Come on. Come on. Bait it out. Yeah, buddy. Ugh. Look at that. Mm. Look at that damage. And he ain't even ramped up. And I'm keeping an eye on the um, uh, charges. But no need. He went down. That's why Corvus really needs as high of an attack as he can get. Um, if I continue to use him, I may actually take him to rank five. Because uh, he benefits from uh, high attack. So we took him down. Uh, Corvus's debut is going well so far. Now, in this fight, we've got... Um, Sorcerer Supreme, who is a global defender. So I came in with Thickums. Come on, Thickums. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at her. Look at her. Just, just work it. Go ahead. Mm. Now, I'm not the best uh, Titania player, okay? So don't expect any premium gameplay with her. But look at her. Look at her. Now, see, I should have done another heavy attack right there. But whatever. I played it safe. Okay. We just we just taking it slow, blocking what we don't need to worry about. Got another haymaker ready, so let's bait this out. And, and I'm not gonna go all the way to the special three. We're just gonna do that, and then bam, got her in the corner. <clears throat> nice special two, boom. Now I could have gone to a special three, and maybe that would have done a little bit better. Like I said, I'm not. Uh, the, the best uh, Titania player. But just look at it. Look at this. She just tore her up. Thickums. Go ahead, girl. I do like Titania. All right, so that fight went nice and smooth. We're not playing this war. Last war was the worst war. Of course, it was the first war, but it was the worst war uh, so far. And... Uh, I don't want to have that experience again. Now, this one here, I was like, okay, I'm going to see how well uh, Corvus does. Now, he's got a charge, and I can armor break, but I don't think it really does anything against Nimrod. But that don't matter. I've fought Nimrod before. Now, on this node, every time he has uh, an armor up, which he gets, he... Um, will put a bleed on me. But Corvus don't take damage from bleed. And I also have Coagulate. He don't take damage from bleed, so it don't matter. I really love Corvus. 
And before Hercules, Corvus was my guy. And it looks like he's making a comeback. Now, if you look there, you see I've got some of these in the overflow. They're actually starting to expire. So I got to use them or lose them. Now, check out what I'm doing with my Corvus. Okay. We've got the um, cosmic boosts on Corvus. But they also work for Hercules. Anyway, um, watch Corvus go to work on this Nimrod. Medium, light, medium. Yep, medium, light, medium. Mm, medium, light, medium. Yep, yep, yep. Now, we're not going to be able to flow into it because he armored, but there you go. Boom, boom, boom. Nasty. Just nasty with it. Already back to another special two, thanks to the boost. Bam. Hit him again. And the fight's over. Corvus. Nasty with it. So people were wondering about Corvus. Is he still good? Yeah, he's still good. Just got to keep him up with all the rest. We probably won't see a Corvus um, as a seven star, but he makes a great candidate for Ascension if you're using him. Now, look at this. Look at that. Remember how much trouble we had with Ant-Man Future? Look at this. Don't nobody care about all that. Mm-mm. I'm already here. Yeah. Take another special two. Oh, didn't kill you? I got another special two waiting for you when you're done. Come on. Whoop, whoop. Boom. Nasty with it. Those boosts for Corvus? Yeah. So, um, anyway... That was that. Now we're on to the mini. But a problem. Let me see. Yep, we got we got this one. We got um um it's another war where I ran out of energy and had to wait. All right, so this one is and I don't like fighting Zemo because of his root. Y'all know that, right? So, anyway, with Hercules though, I'm going to bring it to him. Look at that. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Come on. He don't seem to want to fight. Just smacking him up. Come on. Fight. Fight. So passive. That was one of the problems we had with him on that other node. He's just so passive. And then I'm losing my um, power because I was going to tear him up with a special two. So I'm like, okay, let me get another special two out of here. Okay. Here we go. Can't get a special two. I'm like, okay, you know what? Maybe we're not going to worry about the special two. And I was like, are you going to stay there with your special two? Yeah, see? I, at this point, I'm just like, yeah, let me just fire off that special one. Bam. It's all good. Yeah. That's okay. Now he's firing his specials. Let's go. Hit him with that relic. Bam, 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 boom. Hercules. So that, my friends, was my war. <laughs> nice, smooth, and easy. This one was about as good as the last war was bad. Okay? Uh, and then I think I, I waited here just in case they needed me for something else, but they didn't. Uh, anyway. We'll be back and you'll see how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. First two wars of the season and we have won. And the next war, you can see in the lower left-hand corner, tier two, next war, we're actually in tier one. We actually won enough that we're in tier one. That's going to be a spicy war. All right. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Sorry the planning in the uh, beginning was so long, but this is new, new map. But now we've gotten familiar with it. That planning is going to go much faster. All right. 
So anyway, take care and you all have a blessed day. Thank you.